Sammy Short, ladies and gentlemen. Sammy Short, give him up. Standing ovation, come on, you guys. He's the one who started this place several years ago. It's his birthday. There we go. What do you think of the guys? Fun guy? I've seen a lot of comedians in my day. These five guys were great. They really, they had something different to say. They said it. They believe in what they're talking about. And uh, they don't fucking love you. They love me. Because I originated this fucking place. Me and Rudy DeLuca. I can hardly walk. He's up here. Up. I mean, yeah, I got this fucking thing here. This shit. Fucking crap with this crap. Remember those days, Polly? Yeah. I said, hey, hey, whatever. Yeah, I said, I said. Anyway, so that's. Uh, that's it, Paul. It's a really nice night for me. And, uh, Your son and Scott's here, too. Scott's in the corner. Oh, Scott is here. <laughs> Scott? My oldest son, Scott. Where is he? Scott? Oh, fuck you. <laughs> My daughter, Sandy, is sick. She's not well. And uh, she couldn't come. So fuck her, too. <laughs> but... Uh, I started something in this comedy store. Rudy and I started it. Uh, April 7th, 1972. And uh, Rudy painted it black. I said, what are you painting it black? Well, you gotta have it dark, you know. I said, I'll fucking paint it. <laughs> and he painted it, and it, it came, and we saw this room back here. It was Art LeBeau had it. I said, what is this back there? This is where, this be, used to be Ciro's. This is where, Sammy Davis and all the big stars worked here. Why did it really? It's like, wow, wow. And it, so we never came back. It was just closed off. And Rudy and I started the comedy store. <clears throat> we started it one on uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And Rudy was seeing the people and collecting money. And somebody was stealing. I had a bartender from uh, up north. I had, I had a club I was working in Santa Monica called The Horn, and his wife, Dorothy, and I had them both working here, you know, at the comedy store. And we were making like maybe three, four hundred dollars a night, and it was only like hundred and fifty dollars. So I said, Rudy, what, what, where, where is the rest of the money? He said, I don't know. I don't know. We find out that they were taking it from us, you know. So I kicked her in a cunt. <laughs> and fired her. And fed her husband. Fuck him in the head and fuck this piece of shit. It's, just been, it's been a thrill watching these five comedians. It really has. Especially Ralphie May. He's a cute guy, really cute guy. And all these other guys that I never met, didn't, I, I've never seen them before. <laughs> I don't really give a shit what they do. I don't know. That they have this place to work, and I'm happy for, for them that it's still open. And uh, Mitzi's not here, she's not well. She doesn't speak, she doesn't talk. She just at a house in, in uh, Brentwood, and uh, I don't talk to her, and she doesn't talk to me. It's just nice that way. <laughs> Fuck her, too. I remarried uh, 25 years ago. I met a nice girl from Memphis, Tennessee. Miss Alabama. How about that? And she was walking around like, oh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
traveling around the country in a car and all that bullshit. And they fucked her over. They fucked her over good. They really, I had to say that, Paul. They really did. I like it. I like it for her to come up here and meet her. She's a wonderful, wonderful girl. She, I adore her, and she adores me. What the fuck she sees in me, I don't know. But she, she's sweetheart. Suzanne, would you come up here, please? You can walk. I just want to say uh, to everyone, I want to thank you all for coming out and celebrating Sammy's milestone birthday. Um, he's such an extraordinary man. He's got a huge heart. And I don't know that I've ever met anyone who gives to others so unselfishly um, as I've seen him give to comics uh, who want advice. Um, he has friends that, that he's there for without question, and he values everyone that he's come across in his lifetime. And uh, they don't make many like that anymore. And I'm really very lucky to have had him in my life. And um, I just adore him. I just adore him. And uh, for all of you who know him, I think you know that, that what I'm saying is true. I just can't thank you enough for coming out for me. Thank you, thank you. 